Hello everyone, following on from Sunday's video where we put um, Flourish journals together to store our supplies for um, using for projects during 2022, I promised I would be back with some ideas as to how to um, store small pieces of ephemera and oh my goodness me, I have been working on this for the last two or three days and it is not easy trying to come up with something that works and trying to get rid of the clutter. Um, let me just pop this to one side for a second and bring in my flourish journal I love this um, I feel inspired every time I open it up I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic um, and this is just absolutely perfect for those larger bits and pieces that you've got and for background um, papers that you might want to use in journals um, going forward so you know this is just going to be absolutely perfect um, for me I love this and for anybody who hasn't seen this video I'll leave the link to it in the description box below um, but there was no room in it to small uh, store my smaller pieces of ephemera now elizabeth nasbit um, suggested why don't you use old photograph albums and i thought oh my goodness me what an absolutely marvelous idea um, and i'd got four of those that i found in my cupboard here at, um, at home originally i was thinking that i would um, store my ephemera in concertina file folders like this of which i've been i've made many of these over the years um, but you know I can already see that this would not work for me because I've just got far too much crap in alia. <laughs> it's just ridiculous I have got bits and bobs coming out of my ears um, but this is not quite working um, either so you know I want to try and do something about this um, today now this is um, a snappy snaps um, photo album I think I've probably had photos processed um, that I'd done um, online or through the post as you did um, you know years ago um, and probably with my order I probably got um, one of these photo albums as I say I've got four um, of these and they were all empty and what I've done I've tried to store things in um, colour order and I think this is going to work really well for me so here we go we've got black and white um, ephemera here um, doilies and whites I've got um, quotes in this one here I've got a couple of empty pockets as well um, this is just some um, bits and pieces that, that were sent to me by um, a friend in happy mail if you're watching you will recognize this I am sure um, cutouts here and you know this is just um, uh, a method that works for me store things how they work for you whether you do it in color order or you know in order that you might want to um, use things um, it's going to be very much an individual thing I've got postcards and various um, focal images um, here clothing tags and all of that kind of thing um, and I've got um, a couple of these now before I take this away you can see the dilemma it is a complete and utter gator mouth um, it just will not close um, it's just ridiculous and this is going to drive me absolutely around the twist um, now you could say we'll put less in it Nina but you know what do you do I'm going to have to you know I would need 10 of these at least to to, <laughs> to house all of my bits and bobs now I've also got um, another one of these that's in a slightly um, different style let me just bring this one here this is an empty one of the one that I showed you um, earlier so this is hardback and this is the softback um, version and what I've done with this one here um, is punched a couple of holes put eyelets in so that I can at least um, tie it um, shut to stop it flapping um, open and let me just give you a flip through of what I've put in here and I just love the fact that I can flip through this and see exactly what I've got so in this one here I've got butterflies um, we've got hearts in this pocket here flowers um, a few pockets of, of flowers we've got um, more flowers birds um, birds in these two here as well um, gold um, in here pinks pinks again going on to purples um, oranges and yellows more oranges um, oranges and pinks again here and then I've got neutrals and that was where I thought Nina stop because you're not going to be able to close it at this rate so that one um, is not too bad I think um, I can live um, with this um, just because I can um, tie it together and I've just used um, you know those um, things that you get in jumpers that um, hold them onto the hanger 
that you can then cut cut out. I always save those, so I've just used um, those in black, um, so I can live with that. But I need to desperately do something with with this one here. Now I've already attempted this with the other one that I've got. I told you I'd got four of these. I had three hardback ones. Do not make the mistake that I did. I decided that what I could do is is chop um, the hardback bit um, at the front. Let me just show you. So that is, um, if I cut um, this this part um, away just to open um, the journal out, and I am going to do that, but then I stupidly decided to do it on the back and, of course, then cut the whole journal apart. So, you know, <laughs> that one is is no good anymore unless, of course, I glue the, um, the, the back pocket um, to the back um, just to secure it. But I can already see that um, by doing this, it's going to give me um, a lot more space. So I think what I'm going to do um, is just cut this um, with my scissors let's just grab my scissors I hope you can see what I'm doing here um, you can see how full full it is I'm just going to cut this um, along that spiral here just to open open it up in fact I think I'll probably go off camera and do this because it's so full I can um, barely even get to it in fact, I just decided to take um, a score knife um, to it and that was um, a lot easier. So now this part here can just um, come out and I need to tidy um, this up. So I think what I'll do here is flip this over, grab um, a, a self-healing mat and a ruler and I'm just going to cut that excess there away um, using my, my blade. So here we go, let's just carefully try and take, take this away to tidy it up and let's see how much difference um, this, this makes to that huge gate, gate to mouth issue. So has it worked, I hear you ask? Well, I think so. It's certainly a lot better than it was. I'm just using um, a Sharpie marker just to tidy up that um, edge edge there just to get rid of those um, scruffy bits. So at least that looks um, nice and neat. Let's put that away. And let me show you what it looks like when the journal is closed. Now, what I've been doing is just pressing the edge here just to try and fat flatten it because of course it was very, very curved. But just look, everything just now fits into that journal. That is just so much better. It's not perfect, but it's a darn sight better than it was before. Now, I need some kind of closing mechanism to hold it um, all tight. I'm going to try something different um, with this one here. You can see that I've already measured the centre line. I'm going to take my crocodile again um, and let's just try and get into this. I'm just going to chomp a hole here like this and I'm going to use one of these Tim Holtz little gadgets. Um, I have forgotten what these are called and I will leave it um, on screen um, rather than go and look it up now but the idea is that these are in two parts um, so you put the flat bit um, on the bottom and then I can pop this, screw this on the top so whoops it's rolled away so let's screw screw this on so there we go screw that on nice and nice and tight and then I've made a mark in the center on this side here as well I am also going to um, chomp a hole but this time I'm using the um, larger hole on my my cropper dial and I'm going to add an eyelet and I've got um, an eyelet here, a black one, so that it coordinates. So I'm just going to chomp, press this into place. There we are. So I think that's uh, that's about right. And then I've got one of these um, little hair elastics. Now this is brown. Um, that's all, all I had um, on hand and that's absolutely okay. And so let me just show you this. I'm going to pop that through there like that and then loop, loop it through. And then that will hopefully 
hold my journal together that's perfect so let me just show you what that looks like on its side so let's have a look inside again and what i really like about this is the fact that i can flip through um, everything is in um, an order that suits me as i've said you know do it this in an order that suits you you know the method that i do mine might not um, work or make any sense to you whatsoever but it does to me and that's the important thing but i just love the fact that i can see exactly what I've got. I cannot believe that um, I haven't thought of this idea um, sooner. It's not perfect just because of the amount of bulk um, I've got um, in mind but you know I just I just love this idea. I think it's it's fantastic. So let me just show you what this looks like um, on its side and let's open it up again. Now what I really love about this is the fact that um, all of these are clear pockets so I can clearly see exactly what um, I've got in Side. This is going to make life so much easier for me. Thanks so much, Elizabeth, for this fantastic idea. I can't believe that I've had these sat in my cupboard for years and never, ever thought um, to use these photo albums. And, you know... I was never going to get round to filling them with photographs either. Most of mine are stored in, a, in shoe boxes, but, you know, this is a brilliant idea. Um, do you, though, you know, you have got to store your supplies in um, a system, a method that suits you. Mine are done in various um, colour orders or butterflies or flowers or birds, as you saw. Um, you know, you need to devise a system that um, suits the way that, that you work. But this is just brilliant. That's really going to work for me it's not perfect you know um, you can see how the pages have curled around um, but you know considering how I had things before which was stored in a great big storage box in various tubs and I could never ever find anything this is so much easier for me to use now let me give you some more ideas some of you might remember this. This is the William Morris um, inspired ephemera holder that I made before Christmas. I really like this. Um, the pockets were made using file folders, these type of um, file folders. So this is really nice and sturdy. And I will be filling this as well over the coming weeks with, with ephemera, maybe postage stamps and that kind of um, thing as well. Um, but, you know, this again, because it's clear plastic, would make it really easy for you to see your supplies I also have um, a whole wad of these which I absolutely love and these are just absolutely great for storing um, larger pieces of ephemera um, and backgrounds and that kind of thing I have also ordered some of these in a five size which is half the size of these and it may well be that you know if I find that this doesn't work um, for me and it falls apart which it may well do because there's so much bulk um, in it um, that I end up storing things things in a five um, wallets and storing them maybe in in a shoe box uh, a shoe box I don't know I'm just going to play around this year and see what works for me but I do know that I just need to get um, more organized I need things in color order or theme order just some way that makes it easier for me to find things um, there are also these um, folders here that you can buy now I personally don't um, don't rate these I bought um, a pack of two of these um, and this this one has just stood empty because what I do find is that the pages are just too flimsy. They're like those document um, wallets that um, students use. Now, a way that you could overcome this, you could actually cut a piece of cardboard um, to size to fit inside your wallet, which would stabilise it. And it would also give you two sides to use as well. Um, so, you know, creating two areas for you to fill with um, pieces of ephemera. Um, so that's made Maybe something I will try as well. As I say, I've got um, I've got two of these. I'm just going to try things this year, experiment and see what works for me. I just wanted to show you some other pieces of ephemera that I've kept in these wallets. Um, these are all wine labels. Um, a lot of them I've collected from Spain. Oh, they have some wonderful bottles um, over there. And um, all I do is um, soak the wine bottles in hot soapy water and then they peel straight, straight off. I've got loads of really interesting um, labels here. As you can see, um, there's a beer label here as well. And then I've also 
also got these pieces of ephemera. Now, these were all cut out of this brochure here, which was um, a local um, art event brochure. And there are just some wonderful, wonderful images. And I've cut things like um, art out of here. Um, all of these wonderful designs. Some of them are really small. Some of them are a lot larger. Look at this pretty, pretty bird here. But there's all kinds of pretty things to use. But think of your, you know, home and gardens and period living and all of those kinds of magazines. They have some absolutely um, amazing um, images. So that's what I've used. And look what I've got. I've got all of these gorgeous images here that I can use in projects um, as well. Um, and, you know, for, for my next journal, it's going to be, as I did last year, it will be um, scraps and junk and things that I've got for very little cost or hopefully for free. I hope that's given you some ideas for storing your ephemera and if you've got any ideas as to how you think I can repair this one as well then please do leave your comments in the description box below I'd love to put this one um, back together um, and if you have any other um, ephemera storage ideas I mean I know that lots of people are sharing big ephemera booklets um, and they're absolutely great but they are hugely time consuming um, to make I would like you to leave ideas of stuff that um, we can use and get off to without having to put any effort in I mean something like this you just fill the pockets and away you go and okay I had to do a bit of jiggery pokery um, but that's fine by by me um, but you know if you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon Kylie and I of course will be back on Sunday um, with the next prompt for 2022. Take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.